Hey there, so it's been a full month with the Remarkable Paper Pro and today I'm back with a quick update on how it's been holding up. After in-depth review, I got pretty comfortable with this device and it's interesting to see how my thoughts have evolved now that it's become part of my daily routine. There were a few surprises, both good and not so good, that I definitely didn't expect in those first few days. So let's dive into my real world experience after 30 days with the remarkable Paper Pro. Design and build quality. After 30 days I can tell you this, the design has grown on me in ways I didn't expect. At first the minimalistic look felt almost too simple, but over time I realized the beauty is in its practicality. This thing is durable. I've tossed it in my bag with keys, cables, you name it, and the screen is still spotless. The brown leather folio I got with it not only feels premium, but has held up really well to daily wear. It still looks nearly brand new. The folio's sleep-wake function is a lifesaver when you're constantly on the move. And the magnets are surprisingly strong. It snaps into place with confidence. Over a month of use, I've come to appreciate how well the rubberized feet keep it stable on almost any surface, which is a small but nice touch. Writing experience. After a few weeks, I noticed something interesting. Writing on the Remarkable Paper Pro started to feel very natural, I'd say even more than writing on actual paper. There's just enough resistance to give you a sense of control, which I didn't realize I missed until using it. The Marker Plus stylus doesn't slide around like it would on glass and over time I've actually found myself experimenting with different note-taking styles and layouts. It almost encouraged me to be more organized. One drawback though, I did notice a slight refresh delay when using colored pens. It's a subtle, almost flickering refresh as you write, which can be mildly distracting if you're switching colors frequently. It is an expected behavior for this technology, but I still can't quite get used to it. And also, it's not an issue if you're mainly using black. Battery life. I'm happy with the battery life. This thing is a battery beast. I didn't have to charge it for days, even with daily use, which honestly made me forget about the charger altogether. I'd say I was plugging it about once a week with pretty frequent use, but if you're using it more intermittently, I could see it stretching easily to two weeks or more. PDF annotation and file syncing. When it comes to annotating PDFs, the experience is solid. It's great for reading and marking up, though I did find myself wishing I could sync my annotated PDFs directly back to Google Drive or Dropbox instead of exporting them manually. After a month, this feels like the one real missing piece for me personally. Final thoughts. A month in and I'm genuinely impressed how the remarkable Paper Pro has changed my note-taking habits. It's got its quirks, a bit of lag here, limited sync options there, but for someone looking to go digital without sacrificing the feel of real writing, it definitely delivers. If you're considering going paperless but still want something that feels analog, this device is worth a serious look. So would I recommend it? Absolutely, but with the caveat that it's best suited for those who value a focused, distraction-free experience and no extra apps. If that's what you're after, the Remarkable Paper Pro may just be the perfect fit. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and I hope you to see you in the next video. Take care, bye!